Welcome to Istanbul, Turkey, for the 2024 Euro Cup Women Final between Besiktas and London Lions. This is the first game in a two-game aggregate-based final that will see one of these teams crowned Euro Cup Women Champions for the first time in their club's history. It does not get much bigger or better than that. Thank you so much for joining me here. And it will be uh, an unbelievable first leg, pretty much guaranteed. London Lions, our visitors this evening have looked good, as have our host, Vashiktas. The Lions, unbelievable at times. A perfect 16-1 and zero loss record this season in Euro Cup women. What a season it's been for the British team, and uh, I'm sure they'll be determined to keep that winning run going for just two more games and walk away with the first ever European title, not just for the Lions, but for any British team, a truly iconic milestone is just ahead of them. As for Besiktas, well, they certainly have more history in European competition, but they've had to uh, fight their way to this year's final. They end to the finals with a 13-win, three-loss record, progressing from what must go down as the toughest of groups, coming away with a four and two. Uh, four wins, two losses in that one. If anything, that really steeled them for the knockout stages. And they have seen off some big, big opposition in the playoffs, including Borges, Biamé and Girona on their way here to the finals. We have a sellout here as well in the arena here in Istanbul. Over 3,000 fans will descend and I'm sure they will bring the noise as the game progresses. Something for the Lions to contend with. And now move across to the player introductions of both rosters to the crowd here in the arena. As I say, history awaits one of these two teams. How they deal with the nerves and the pressure is probably going to be important. London Lions were pushed all the way in their semi-final against Raya. Took an unbelievable third quarter shooting performance in game two of that series to lock in their place in the final this year. Coach Kaltzadu will know that the final isn't going to be won today, but a poor performance here could potentially lose them the final. And I'm sure she'll want her team to lock in for the entire 40 minutes, giving themselves the best chance of living the trophy in London on their home floor at the Copper Box next week. Pyrotechnics have started here in the arena. The crowd are getting fully into this one. And you have to give Besiktas credit. They did a great job in their semi-final tie against Girona. They made the most of their home court here in the first game before traveling to Spain. They took a 21-point lead with them on their travels. And I'm sure Coach Akea will be looking for a repeat of that again here today. Likely that the Shiktas will run a shallower rotation than London. They lean heavily on their starting five, in particular offensively. And the Shiktas bench just contributes 10 points per game. So that could either be a, a strength or a weakness, depending on your mindset. But the uh, fans are certainly making themselves heard here. They will create an amazing atmosphere for their team to play in and a hostile one for London to contend with. As the Arena MC getting everyone pumped up. These two teams have not met before. So there's no history between them. And as I say, they both looked pretty impressive throughout the regular season, and even more so in the postseason playoffs. We are now a little over five minutes away from the opening tip-off here as the coaching staff shake hands on the half court. What a way to close out an amazing Euro Cup women's season. Remember, if you want to jump into any of the action, any of the games or highlight tapes, do head over to the website, fever.basketball slash Women. Here are our officials for this evening. Benny Aminio, Manuel Attard, Amel Dara, Sinisa Purpa from Italy, France and Serbia. They have been honoured 
with being given a finals allocation and assignment and I'm sure they'll step up to it here's the starting five for London Lions Snitsina, Winterburn, Petty, Fagbenley and Samuelson a huge amount of experience in that five but plenty coming off the bench for coach Calcidu as well Katanich, Beckford, Norton, Gustafsson had a huge part to play in the semi-final matchup and I'm sure she will do again today as we see the uh, brain trust of London Lions there, Coach Kaltzadu, leading the way, potentially just a, a couple of games away from making history for London Lions. Here's the starting five for the Shiktas. It's Lazic, Evans, Byram, Nogic and Lee. Again, no real surprise on that starting five. It's been a consistent for Coach Akeda throughout this season, although plenty of talent coming off the bench likes of veteran Hungarian international Krivasovic will uh, certainly play a part as well in today's game there is the coach looking on been head coach for a, a little shy of two years now and uh, an awful lot of experience and that has paid off here for the Besiktas team as uh, the fans are pouring into the stands now and I'm sure they're going to bring the atmosphere here as we see Holly Winterburn what a semi-final she had so influential in both the first and second legs of that semi-final The Shiktas team, I'm sure, are going to try and make the most of their home court advantage. They're going to try and bring the crowd into it as early and as often as they can. And it'll be down to London to try and quieten the crowd, if that is something that's even possible here. You would have to say, though, that London Lions come into the game as favourites. Just on the back of their form throughout the season today and the depth of talent they have within their roster, however... A huge asterisk next to that quote. You would be crazy to ride off this Besiktas team. There's enough big time talent in their roster to get the job done here. However, this home game, I'm sure, as the Turkish team know, is critical. They can't afford to dig themselves a hole to try and climb out of in the return of this final in London next week. Both teams go back to their huddles to get final instructions from the coaching staff. And as I said, just a reminder, if you want to follow the live stats throughout this game, head across to fever.basketball slash Eurocup women. And you'll be able to click through and get into the box score as that progresses through today's game. The crowd are poured into the stands. We are expecting a capacity crowd of over three thousand Turkish fans here possibly a few traveling fans of the London Lions as well I know they've had a hardcore of fans following them around Europe this year but uh, they also have plenty of support back home the watch party I'm sure is fully underway at Hackney Bridge in London a big shout out to everyone there watching the game tuning in for what could be a historic moment in your club's history First things first, a huge 40 minutes of basketball here in Istanbul as the appetizer, the starter for what is set to be an unbelievable Euro Cup Women 2024 final. Shiktas five to the floor first. They're ready to go. Want to ride the wave of energy that their home fans are giving them. The London team make their way to the floor. And a big part always of these games really is who settles first. Which team overcomes the situation, forgets that it's a final and just locks into good basketball. Both these teams have delivered good basketball all year. No expectation that it'll be any different this year in this game. And 
are underway here in Istanbul. Euro Cup Women 2024 final, the first leg. Prashiktas against London Lions. Nogic now drives down the lane, hands it off, baseline cut, and an easy score for Bayram to get the Turkish team underway. They'll weave at the top into the hands of Snitsina. Back Ben Lane, lovely jab step to the basket. Good recovery defense by Levo. Evans, long three, not this time. Rebound by pulled in by Fag Benley. That's going to be a battle, Fag Benley against Lee. Backdoor cut comes off the hands of Winterburn, so that will be a turnover. Shift us to take possession. Listen to the atmosphere here in the arena. Fever pitch already. Winterburn can't quite hold on to that pass. Lazic. Foul's going to be called on Samuelson. First foul of the game. One minute gone. And you have to say Besiktas with a slightly brighter start. Nogic now using the screen from Lee. Puts on the brakes. Feeds Lee down in the low post. Lee goes to work. Won't get the score. Will get the offensive rebound and will go again. Oh, and will get the roll. Big play by Lee. Yuaru, the Chinese international. Had a big season, averaging over 13 points and 10 rebounds a game. Samuelson to Snitsina. A little short, too, is too short. The nerves showing early here from London Lions, not finding their form. Long pass, stolen away though, Fak Benley scoops up the loose ball. Winterburn, three ball, off the glass, no good. That did not look to be released with any confidence. Evans now. Trying to shake up Petty, gets inside, gets a shot away. Great defense there, though, by Shea Petty. Samuelson uses the screen. Looking for Snitsina in the post, has to go to Fag Benley. Now it's inside to Snitsina, a little body bump. Good defense by Nogic. London still to register any points on the board. Two and a half minutes gone. Everything going through Nogic right now. Little corner jumper, no good from Bayram. Neither team truly finding their flow offensively just yet. Winterburn kicks it out. Corner pocket three is good for Schnitzina. Cool, calm, and collected from the veteran Belarusian. After love the way, just a two in fact, foot inside. Three ball goes up from Evans, that's heavy. Rebound by Snitsina. Will that jumper have opened things up and calmed a few London nerves? Samuelson now will draw the foul from Elif Bayram. Easy one for the officials to call. I am not able to get over the screen. Schichter certainly playing physical defense early here. Samuelson open for the three at the top. Couldn't quite get it to roll. Another miss for London. Lazic. Into the hands of... Evans, Evans passes it inside, it's a poor pass, and out comes the wave of London Lions in the offense. Fag Benley tries to scoop it round the corner to Petty. It's knocked out of bounds, though, off of Besiktas' hand. Baseline ball for London. A 
Ali Samuelson, short corner, a little flat on the trajectory, rebound scooped up by Penny, she misses the layup as well. Nerves playing their part for London Lions right now, missing what they would consider to be easier opportunities. No Gitch drives inside, goes high, too heavy. Where's the rebound? Saved. Great work by Lazic. Inside, and the foul's going to be called on Fag Benle. She's not happy, but I think her frustration is more with the stuttering start that her team have had. Little shot fake. Nogic was enough to create the lane. Nogic at the line for two, a 95% three throw shooter, Jovanna Nogic. Hopefully that's not the commentator's curse I've just put on her. Near automatic this season from the free throw line. for the second two from two from the line the Schichter's lead out to four four and a half minutes gone in the opening quarter of game one of the finals Winterburn to Petty intricate play here from London Fagbenle looking to use the foot speed against Lee doesn't get it to roll though I don't think that's a bad thing for Fag Benley to look at. Strength-wise, she may struggle against Lee, but foot speed, lateral movement, she should have the advantage. Lock pass to Samuelson, really deep and low, though. Petty trying to shake. Gets it off the handoff, goes to the bucket, gets the score. That's a tough play by Petty. More of a facilitator this season, Shea Petty. Listen to the crowd here in Istanbul. Shifters fans bringing the noise. Three ball goes up. Lazic in and out. That's a huge shot. Lazic getting it done. The 23 year old. Looking calm so far, Winterburn drops the shoulder and ducks under for the two. As it drives inside, kicks it out, Evans for three, not this time. The Schichter's lead will stay at three and you can feel the nervous energy in the arena. Both teams just trying to find a little bit of rhythm, some composure. Foul's going to be called. Someone trying to break through a screen, I think, is going to be the call. Change to be made as Fagbenle comes out. Gustafsson comes in. Lazic called for the foul. Eddie feeds Winterburn in the low post, looking to use her size advantage, back-to-back -back buckets for Winterburn. The Schichter's lead down to a single point now. Elbow jumper is short, rebound by Lazic. Lazic getting everywhere right now in this game, and the jumper is huge. Nogic. Absolutely, laser locks in for today's game. Lions giving her way too much space. They get the score at the other end. Starting to warm up, Winterburn up to six points. Nogic feeding Lee in the low post. Here's another battle. Double dribble's going to be called on Lee. Not happy with the call, let's have a look. Yeah, absolutely, that little tap down was uh, an establishing dribble, really. Lazic comes out of the game. What a start to the game for her. Into the game comes Gravasevic. Lions also make the change as Katanic comes in for Peddy.
Winterburn steps out. Three ball. Winterburn with the hot hand. Nine early points. For Winterburn, the 23-year-old Great Britain International lighting it up early here. No gitch. Oh, she'll just answer straight away. This game is warming up nicely here in Istanbul. Katanich will have to come out. Gustafsson now hands it back. Surely they look for the hot hand. Not this time. Shot clock at three off the glass. No good. Rebound by Lee. Evans slows it down. Schichtus look a bit more comfortable in the half-court offense than Lions do. Oh, what a long three from Nogic! Oh, that one came down with snow. Yovana Nogic putting in an unbelievable shooting performance here early. 11 points now. Three from five from the field for her. Oh, it's becoming a, a duel between Winterburn and Nogic. This time Winterburn can't get it to go. Five-point lead for Besiktas, batted away. Gustafsson scoops up the long ball, out of the races. Winterburn with the easy score. She's asking for a sub, starting to blow. She certainly put a lot in in the first nine minutes of this game. As expected, this one is high tempo, high intensity, and certainly high entertainment. No gitch. Oh, no, look, pass. Oh, no, she didn't. What a pass by Nogic, and Byram gets the score along the baseline. Timeout's been called by Coach Kaltsidu. Oh, look at that. Absolutely showboating in the first quarter from Nogic. Byram gets the score off the glass. Rashik just re-established that five-point lead as London Lions call a timeout. Forty-six point six seconds remaining in the first quarter. What a blistering, entertaining first quarter of basketball we've had here in Istanbul. Besiktas lead this one by five over the London Lions. Remember, this is a two-leg aggregate-based final. No one's going to win or lose the crown here this evening. But one team could make a big step towards it. Into the game has come Myers. Like Benley, elbow jumper, no good. Lee with another rebound. Her sixth rebound of the game already. But she is the mainstay big for Besiktas. Evans now brings it up over the half. About a seven second differential between the first quarter clock and the shot clock. Evans now looking for options. Nothing on the strong side for her just yet. No gitch. Another three goes up. That one's heavy. Fag Benley with the rebound. Steps inside. Jumper away. That one's short. And that will be the end of the first quarter here in Istanbul. As expected, a real battle between these two. Both teams putting in big phases in that first 10-minute period, but it's the home team 
It's the Turkish team of Besiktas that have the early advantage. What an atmosphere here in Istanbul. One quarter of the 2024 FIBA Euro Cup women final in the books. And coach Akaya will be relatively happy. His team on the better side of the 2015 scoreline. Besiktas lead by five against the London Lions. But really, it's the Nogic Winterburn battle right now. Jovana Nogic has 11 points, including three triples in that first quarter, whilst Holly Winterburn also has 11 points shooting five from seven from the field. One thing certainly worth a note as the second quarter gets underway that four of the players for Orbeschicht has played all 10 minutes of that first quarter. Oh, lovely hands by Nogic. Winterburn not aware of the weak side. Nogic steals it away to start the second quarter. Vasovic will come back out now to Evans. Wrestling match underway between Lee and Gustafsson. Gustafsson's going to be called for the foul. First foul of the quarter for the London Lions. First foul of the game for Gustafsson. Certainly a physical battle between those two. Pass inside. Foul's going to be called. Abby Myers whistled for that one as she got stuck on a switch that really didn't help. I had to switch down to help on Lee. Lee will have to go to the line to earn her points. 81% in her Euro Cup winning campaign this season, Lee, from the line. First is good. Listen to that crowd, listen to the atmosphere here in Istanbul. And the second is good, but shipped us now out to a seven-point lead. It's a game-high seven-point lead for them. Winterburn for three. In and out, back of the iron and away. Foul's going to be called, I think, on Evans as she just tangles with Peddy. It's another really interesting battle between the two American guards. Peddy now out on the wing, hands it to Gustafsson. Lions trying to be patient offensively, but the shot clock's only got six left on it. Winterburn again, step back three. And again, no good. London Lions struggling to find some different looks. And this happened to them in game one of the semi-final against Raya as well. Once Raya had closed out plan A, London struggled to find a plan B quickly. Lovely spin move, beautiful footwork. Kravasevic goes straight to the bucket and gets the score. And Besiktas are starting to pull away in this game. Their lead is up to nine. Worrying times for London. Petty, three ball goes up and he's short. And again, London are settling for that three. 
not getting anything going towards the basket, not getting anything in the post. Nogic now. To Evans, Evans just blasts inside, draws the foul. Potentially fortunate as she may have been called for a charge otherwise as she plows into Myers. Now called on Petty. Third team foul of the quarter on London already. Haven't even had two minutes gone in this quarter. Could be a few trips to the free throw line for Besiktas coming. They are a good free throw shooting team as well. Evans 85% from the charity stripe. Two from two this trip, and Besiktas' lead is into double digits, an 11-point lead for the home team. How do London respond? Inside to Gustafsson against Lee. Lee looking to put a body on her. Drop step, fade away. The jumper is good for Megan Gustafsson. And you're doing a, a number on Lee in the low post. Evans now. Nogic won't take the three, will step in for the three instead. That one's short. Such a high arcing shot from Jovanna Nogic. She'll take the foul. An easy call for the officials. to burn pick and roll with Gustav Cern and one there's the play as she looks to the bench trying to get some energy trying to get some height back into the game for London tough play draws a huge amount of body contact from Kravacevic Gustafsson at the line for the bonus not a good free throw shooter though just 55 percent in this competition this season Does hit the bonus though, completes the three-point play. London back to within six. Five-point swing. Evans now reversing out to take a run-up, dumps it inside. Kravasovic with the score, and London is susceptible to that play. The, the drive down the middle, drawing the weak side help, and then the baseline cut. Where's the help the helper from London right now? Winterburn to Fag Benley. Gets it back. Foul's going to be called on Nogic. That's two quick fouls. Official's going to have a conversation here. I wonder if it includes a discussion around the screen or not. I think they are going to call it an illegal screen. In fact, Samuelson called for the offensive foul. Well, Samuelson not able to put herself into this game or have an impact just yet. Open two from the field. Samuelson averaging almost 14 points a game. Season high of 25 in the quarterfinals. Atmosphere here in Istanbul. The Besiktas crowd doing all they can to rally their team. The fans and players are equally aware of how important this game one is. Evans now. Three ball goes up. It's heavy. Where's the rebound? Foul's going to be called, I think, on Samuelson. That will send Byram to the line for shots. Second quick foul there on Carly Samuelson. And she just backs into Byram. Accidental contact, but a foul nonetheless. Samuelson will come out of the game and she picks up her third foul. That is problematic for Coach Kaltzidou now. 
Such an influential player, Carly Samuelson. We're probably not going to see it till, I imagine, deep into the third now. At the line is Elif Bayram. 73% from the free throw line. The crowd hush for the free throw attempts. The first is good. And the second is good as well. Matt Samuelson's not coming out of the game. She'll stay in the action. Winterburn, lob pass to Fag Benle. Fag Benle off the glass for two, and that is London Lions basketball in one single offense. They used it to such efficiency in their semi final series against Raya. Will they look to go back to it again? Nogic off the back of the iron and away. Long rebound to Lee. Short corner jumper is good. Kravasevic drains the J. And Besiktas bat out to a double digit lead. Inside, foul's going to be called, is it? And a traveling violation on Petty. Another turnover for London. They really have struggled in the game so far. Evans drives inside, draws the contact. Nogic won't shoot the logo three this time. He said she'll attack the bucket. No good. Follow rebound though. He's great from Bayram. The 22 year old coming in and having a big impact in today's game. Six points and six, sorry, eight points and seven rebounds for the young star. Foul's going to be called on Byram this time. The Shiktas have worked really hard to try and lock up the interior defense. Both teams now in the penalty. Winterburn now. Rise inside, Samuelson off the glass, oh, misses a completely open layup. And that is nothing more than psychology, that one. Samuelson struggling to get herself into the game. Pretty much 999 times out of a thousand, Samuelson's taking that one. Turnover for Besiktas this time as we're going to see Lazic come back in. And a three second violation called on Lee. Back Benle to Winterburn. Winterburn steps back, won't shoot the three this time. Certainly has gone cold in the second quarter and set inside to Fag Benle against Lee. Won't get the score. Good defense. Right, the Chinese big down low. Nogic weaving, trying to find space, step back jumper, air ball. Nogic has certainly cooled off in the last few minutes as well. That's another poor pass though and another turnover. Count to do not happy about something. Timeout's been called here by coach Akea. His team lead by 12. The Shiktas have done a pretty strong job here in the first 16 minutes. How will they react from this timeout and try and push on into the half time break?
This could be a big four minutes and six seconds for both of these teams. Besiktas work themselves into a 12-point lead, holding London Lions to a low-scoring second quarter so far. From London's perspective, can they bounce back? Is there a way for them to adapt and disrupt the home team's rhythm? Almost loses the handle. Top of the key jumper is good, and another big play. Kravasevic drops the jumper. Takes her tally to eight now. Perfect from the field. Four from four. Schnitzina looks to drive the baseline. Door closed on her. Pulls up for the long two. String music for Schnitzina. Oh, the veteran players, the key for London right now, are oh, the players with all that experience ready to step up. Iverson Cup for Nogic. Evans now against Petty, waves her teammate away, wants a one on one, looks to drive inside. Tough shot as she fades away. Petty has the better of that one. now to return the favor inside to fag benle comes out shot clock at seven winterburn uses the screen three and fag benle has to get it away that will be a great save by nogic she just didn't give up on the play jovana nogic here to prove a point long three again Oh, another air ball though. Nogic really is a little streaky here, having a huge impact. Don't get me wrong, 11 points, five assists, three rebounds. Absolutely fighting tooth and nail. She's been on the floor for the entire game, as has Lee, as has Evans. Is that something that will cost them in the fourth quarter? Will coach Akea look to get them a break here? Fag Benley inside against Lee, has to come out though. Schnitzina for three. Ah, oh, hits a big three. There's players on the floor as Schnitzina really has stepped up. Two big jumpers in the last minute. Schichter's lead, trim to nine. Back into the game comes Byram as Kravasevic goes to the bench. Baseline ball for Besiktas. A little over two minutes left in the first half. London drop into a 1 2 1 1 zone. And then they drop into a matchup defense. Evans gets it to go off balance. Big play by Dana Evans. That's what she's been rolling out game after game. She's had some massive games. Had 36 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists, and 3 steal performance in the regular season. Off the foot. Reset of the shot clock to 14 for London. Yeah, off the foot of Lazic. Just kicks it away. Sideline ball for London. Back into the hands of Winterburn. Lazic all over her. Schnitzina won't take the shot. Does on the second look. Off the iron and away. Big rebound, Lazic. Sparks the factor transition. Comes back out though. Evans won't take the three. Traveling violation called on Dana Evans. Turnover for Besiktas this time. Coach Akea not happy. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, good call from the officials. That pivot foot just picking up before the ball hits. The hardwood. Petty now. Inside to Fag Benley. Great defense by Lee. 
One minute left in the first half, but Schichtus rolling. Foul to be called. Petty called for the foul. Evans will go to the free throw line. Chance to extend this Besiktas lead. Timeout called here. 57.2 seconds remaining. Coach Kaltsadu calls the timeout. Every possession is vital in this kind of situation. She wants to make the most of their final few seconds of this first half. crowd have been absolutely phenomenal here in the first half expect the decibels to increase in the second half a set out here in Istanbul over 3,000 fans in the arena I'm sure countless more across Istanbul and Turkey as well as all the London Lions fans back in London Tuning in, watching this one, particularly at Hackney Bridge for the watch party. The scoreline not the way they will have wanted it right now. But I'm sure they're still enjoying themselves as this London Lions team make British basketball history. Evans, though, good from the line for the first of her two. But shipped us out to a 12-point lead. The second is good. seconds left in this first half Petty now Myers for three high arcing air ball though Byram scoops up the loose ball a chance here for Besiktas to extend that lead even further biggest lead of the game so far was 14 Evans for three or oh, not a pretty shot at all flat Hangs off the perspex. Shot clock off as London look to take the last shot of this first half. Seven left. Petty hands it off. Schnitzina for three. That's short. Rebound. Fag Benley, but she falls to the floor, and that will be the end of the first half here in Istanbul. What a first 20 minutes of this year's Euro Cup Women Final. The home team Besiktas certainly having the better of it at the half. It's Besiktas 40, London Lions 27.
Welcome back to Istanbul. It's halfway through game one of the 2024 FIBA Euro Cup Women Final. And at the halfway stage, the home team, Besiktas, have the advantage. They lead this one 40 to 27 over the London Lions. What a first half we've had. The home team really putting on a defensive masterclass, holding and containing London at every turn. What has coach Kaltzadu said to her team in the locker room? And what impact will it have here in the third quarter? London do not want to head back to their home floor with a double-digit deficit. Whereas Besiktas know they need to open up as big a lead as they possibly can to take to the copper box next week for the second and decisive leg of this final. The crowd have been in fine voice for the entire game. They sat out here in Istanbul, over 3,000 fans making themselves heard, urging their team on for the win. away now from the start of the second half and it's underway here in Istanbul game one of the Euro Cup women final between Besiktas and London Lions Besiktas went into the halftime locker room with a 40 to 27 lead I'm sure coach Akea is happy with that first 20 minutes of basketball but knows that this final is a very long contest Samuelson for three that's short where's the rebound Smallest player on the floor, Petty rips it down, kicks it out. That one's heavy as well. In fact, Benley with the rebound. And we'll reset with a new 14 for London. Winterburn back to Samuelson. Samuelson drives inside. Shot clock violation on Samuelson. She's had a tough game here today. Zero from four from the field for Carly Samuelson. The international has had a great season to be fair had a season high of 25 in the quarterfinals averaging almost 14 points and six rebounds a game including shooting 43 percent from outside but not happened for her in today's game so far Nogic what a first half she had 11 points Lazic inside. Foul's going to be called on Gustafsson. London looked to go bigger here in this second half. Schnitzina started the game. Gustafsson's come in to start the second half in her place. London certainly using a bit more size here early on in the third quarter. First no good for Lazic. of energy early on in the game gets the second to roll takes her personal tally to four and an equal game high 14 point lead now for Besiktas Winterburn uses the screen hands it back to Gustafsson inside to Fag Benley who's oh rejected what good defense by Byram I was about to say in fact, Benley had done an unbelievable job to seal Byram down so low in the paint. Byram fights back, lean out, barrels away to the basket. Gustafsson stands strong. In fact, Benley drives the baseline, gets the score. Byram just steps out of the way, doesn't want to draw the foul. Teams know that the title isn't going to be decided here today. That's decided in London next week. Evans, that's short. Evans not had the best shooting night. One from 11 now from the field for Dana Evans. Samuelson comes back out to Winterburn. 
Winterburn steps through off the right hand. Composure from Holly Winterburn. 13 points for her now. Sometimes you forget that she's just 23 years of age, been playing such high level basketball for such a long time already. Schichter's lead trimmed to 10. Nogic now shaping up against Winterburn. Lovely little crossover, goes off the glass, gets the score and counts it herself. Really has been a, almost a personal battle between Winterburn and Nogic. Side to Fag Benley. Fag Benley goes baseline. Can't get the score. Why am struggling to hold on to Fag Benley though? Is this why they're looking to run two bigs, London? Because realistically, Besiktas only have one legitimate big in Lee. Lazic back to Evans. Evans quick first step, blast to the basket. Off the foot of a London player. So a, a fresh 14 for Besiktas on the baseline. To the game comes Kravasovic, and so far, coach Akea has only run a six player rotation. Unbelievably, Evans, Lee, and Nogic have been on the floor for every second of this game so far. Winterburn not far behind them, but the rest of the London team will certainly be fresher. Nogic step back, one footer, no good. Fagbenle with the rebound, a seventh board of the game. Katanich ends up on the floor, Evans rips it away. Free throw line pass inside, that's dropped out of bounds by Byram. Uh, Evans play fooled everyone, including her own teammates. Probably would have been better to just pull up for that little mid-range jumper. Katanich now. In fact, Benle. Winterburn won't take the three, has created the mismatch though. Fag Benley has it knocked away and will have a foul called. Schnitzina is going to come into the game. Temi will come out as London go to a little bit of a smaller lineup again. A veteran replaces a veteran though. The history awaits one of these teams. Neither of these clubs have ever lifted this trophy. Inside to Lee against Gustafsson. Oh, lovely step through. Good help defense by Schnitzina, though. Winterburn ducks inside. Katanich sees the lane open up, drives inside, drew a little bit of body contact, nothing called, steps out of bounds though. Turnover and Besiktas will take possession. A cagey start to this second half from both teams, halfway through the third quarter. And London are leading the quarter four to three. I think low scoring is an understatement for where we are right now. Katanich called for the foul. 13th foul of the quarter for London. Besiktas yet to have a foul called on them in this quarter. I'm sure Kal Kaltsidu will be asking for her team to be a bit more aggressive and go to the basket. Nogic now looking to back her way down against Winterburn. Goes the baseline. Foul's going to be called on Winterburn. Nogic back at the line for more free throws. Winterburn guiding her to the baseline because she knows Gustafsson's going to step across, but just left her leg in there a little too long. Only Winterburn's second foul. Lean out. to Evans, pulls up this time, takes it herself, and it's kind of what she should have done last time, but she nails the jumper. 
Besiktas re-establish their 14-point lead. Oh, and a steal away. Katanic having a nightmare as Evans just schools her. And Evans putting on a show right now. 16-point lead for Besiktas. Coach Kaltzadu, no choice, has to call a timeout. 24-year-old getting schooled by the 25-year-old. Dana Evans just really stepping up here in this quarter, providing leadership, guidance, and impetus for her team. Game high, 16-point lead for Besiktas. A little over four and a half left in the third quarter. Schick just starting to run away with this game. And London continue to struggle to get anything on the board. Just four points scored in five and a half minutes here in the second half. And no surprise that the, the crowd are bouncing here in Istanbul. Seeing their team putting on a schooling over London right now. Schnitzina. Short jumper, little flat. Rebound pulled down by Nogic. She'll draw another foul. And for Shiktas, now really taking full control of this one. Myers called for the foul. Nogic to the line for two. First is good for Nogic, 14 points now. Six assists, five rebounds. She's been critical all season for this team. Stepping up yet again. Samuelson now. Stutzina to Gustafsson. Inside to Samuelson, wide open. She'll get the score this time. Unbelievably, first points of the game for Carly Samuelson. One from five from the field for her. I'm sure that all London fans are hoping that she can wake up in this game. Yeah, no get short. Rebound Samuelson. She's knocked to the floor by Kovacevic. Was it Lee? No, Kravacevic called for the foul. Samuelson to Winterburn. Nine on the shot clock. London really not creating anything from their offense right now. They look almost like an early season team rather than one that's in a final. Schnitzina misses a, an open gimme from under a metre away. And we've seen this throughout tonight's game. This London team have just struggled. Maybe it is the pressure on their shoulders, a long season. And fatigue playing its part as well. But that is not a shot that you see Katalina Schnitzina missing that often. Foul called on Schnitzina. And we walk to the other end of the floor for Lee to have two free throws. had a similar game one in their semi-final against Girona they managed to secure a 21 point lead to take on the road and that was more than enough for them to comfortably progress here to the final as Lee hits both her free throws and Besiktas' lead now out to 18 Gustafsson 
And again, nothing offensively from London. Foul's going to be called on Lee, though. Reaching in to try and bat the ball away. Lee picks up just her first foul of the game. And for me, that tells you an awful lot about London. They are settling for easy shots rather than trying to disrupt and create problems for Besiktas. Winterburn spills it. That'll be another turnover. I think they've put a coach's challenge in. I think Byram is actually saying to the ref, I did touch the ball last, it was off me, but they're going to go to a, a, a coach's challenge, I think, to review this one. Yep, the officials head to the screen to look this one over. On goes the headset. I think we are going to see a reversal of the call because almost immediately Elif Byram said, yeah, it was me. I knocked it out of bounds. It's a pretty straightforward call for the officials. You can see Byram's hand there just flick around and bat the ball out of bounds. London will have the ball on the baseline with seven seconds left on the shot clock, but they have really struggled today to get shots away. It has been very, very difficult shooting just 34% from the field. Just two from 13 from outside for London Lions today. Really not look to go inside enough either they were having some joy when they ran a, a, a bigger lineup with Gustafsson and Fagbena on the floor at the same time they've moved away from that now though you're still watching this replay I suppose in a final you want to be completely sure it will surely be a London ball it will they've overturned the course so the coach's challenge is Successful London ball on the baseline with seven seconds on the shot clock. Time is running out here for London really to correct the situation in game one. To Winterburn, catch and shoot, three ball, that's off right. Long rebound to Schnitzina though. And Myers was out of bounds, so it will be another turnover. London really, really struggling right now. Turnover number 11 for them in the game. Evans brings it up over the half. London sitting in a zone defense now. Evans long two. That's another air ball. Third air ball of the game for Dana Evans. Not a high efficiency shooter, to be fair to her, just 37% from the field prior to today's game. More a facilitator for this team. But, uh, does average 23 points a game. Foul's going to be called. London as Byram called for the foul. Winterburn looks to drive baseline, draws the foul off Evans. Shooters pick up their fourth team foul of the quarter. Just a quick first step. Oh, it's a rip through really from Winterburn there. Evans caught with her hands in the cookie jar. Samuelson for three. Nails a three. Could that be big timing for London? Besiktas lead to 15. A little over two minutes of the third quarter remaining. London still sitting in this zone defence. Besiktas trying to beat it by using two post players. The shot's another air ball, but Lee scoops up the loose ball. Evans dives inside. Three-second violation potentially is called again. 
Coach Kaltadu trying to put some energy into her team from the sidelines. Baseline ball for London. Carly Samuelson hadn't scored in the first two quarters, has five in this quarter. Over half of London's points in this quarter. away by Evans London to hold on to possession Samuelson into Winterburn Samuelson trying to create some space trying to use the hot hand Schnitzina sidestep three ball goes up that's heavy Lee will chase it down so will Fag Benle and she comes up on top of that one Winterburn now has the mismatch. Step back, three ball. It's good. Back to back triples for London. Forces Besiktas into the timeout. Is this the start of the comeback for the visitors? Winterburn with a big step back three. Poor rotation defensively from Besiktas. A rare defensive mistake from their side. Winterburn makes them pay. Besiktas' lead is cut back to 12. A six-point swing here in Istanbul. Novak, court side watching this one after being in Mersin earlier today for a press conference regarding the Euroleague Women Final Fours, which will take place next weekend. Back to today's game, what a turnaround in this quarter for London. They looked like they were going to whimper out of game one, but back-to-back -back threes has changed the the story here somewhat. Lee drives the baseline, has the door closed on her. Lazic for three. That's a, a brick off the glass. Final minute of the third quarter. Benley will go against Lee. Oh, quick footwork from Temi Fag Benley. And just like that, we are back down to a 10 point ball game as coach Akaya is not happy. Shiktus looking a little shaky for the first time in today's game. Evans has it to Nogic. Is the fatigue starting to settle in? Evans, Lee, Nogic have played every second of this game so far. Evans, high, arcing, short. Good defense by Myers. Final 10 seconds of the quarter. Winterburn glides inside, steps through, and one, Holly Winterburn. Once again, she steps up in a big way in the third quarter for London. Beautiful step through. Takes the contact from Lazic. Heads to the free throw line for the chance of a three-point play. 5.9 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Gustafsson comes in to try and, I think, be the safety in the paint. But Winterburn at the line for the bonus. Doesn't get it to go. That's off Lee. It's going to be a London ball on the baseline. 4.4 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Coach is going to review this. He does. Co 
Coach Akea reviews it after Lee Yuaru says, yes, it didn't come off me. It came off a London hand. The officials head back to the review screen. As Coach Kaltzidu takes the opportunity for an impromptu timeout, a little huddle. The officials back looking at this one. Let's have a look. So the ball comes down. It's off Lee's hand. Oh, my goodness me. That is a tough one to see. Is it? Where is it off the hand of? Is it off? Myers or not? That's the question. The initial contact, I think, is Lee. It's just whether it's Myers that gets a final touch. Or even on the slow-mo, that is tough. If there's another camera angle, maybe, that help the officials. Does Myers' hand touch that ball or not? That is why I would never want to be an official trying to make those calls in a European final, even with super slow-mo, is not easy. Lee knocks it down. That seems pretty sure. It's just whether Myers gets a hand to it or not. What do the officials think? Here we go. It will remain London ball, and I think that's probably more off the fact that they haven't seen enough to overturn the on-court call. I don't think it's they're necessarily sure it was a London ball. 4.4 seconds left. Shot clock turned off for this quarter. Oh, and it's thrown away anyway after all of that. The half court heave is no good. That's the end of the quarter here in Istanbul. And what a seesaw roller coaster quarter we have had. A 10 point swing. In that quarter, London trailed by 18 at one stage. They are now just down by eight points here. At the end of three, it's Besiktas 51, London Lions 43. Just 10 minutes left here in game one. A reminder, this is a two-game aggregate-based final. Nothing is decided here this evening. Both these teams want to take a biggest lead as possible as they can to London next week, where the final and the champions will be crowned at the Copperbox Arena. What a quarter of basketball that third quarter was. Besiktas looked like they were going to cruise their way to a, a big game one win, taking a, a big lead into game two. They led by 18 at one stage. That has been trimmed back to just eight points here with 10 minutes left on the clock here in this first leg. Schichter's 51, London 43. Back Ben Lay gets the roll. Schichter's is lead down to six, and you can hear the nerves in the crowd. They've been buoyant, boisterous, and downright loud throughout the entire game. But a few nerves now with the fans. Evans drives inside. Oh, that's a tough move. That's just strength. As Evans gets Besiktas' his first score of the second of the uh, fourth quarter. Benley ducks inside, draws the foul off Lee. Ben 
and they will head to the line for two free throws. 69% across the season from the free throw line, Temi Fak Benley. This is her first trip this evening. The first is good. As London continue on their comeback trail here. Well, we expected this final to be a real dogged battle. I don't think anyone expected to see an 18-point lead here in the first leg, but that's what we've seen, and we've seen London fight their way back in. They're back within just seven now. Evans off the glass, and this is where Dana Evans just steps up. This is where she takes the team on her back. Up to 12 points now. Samuel Cern will get the roll, clatters into the camera. Back on her feet, though. As these teams have started this final quarter brightly offensively. Nogic, oh, a huge three of Vanna Nogic. What a game she has had. Lit up the first quarter. Is she going to light up the fourth? Samuelson fouled from behind by Nogic. Second foul of the quarter for Besiktas. Crowd are reignited with that three ball from Nogic. Winterburn, three ball of her own, too heavy. Easy rebound for Nogic. Not a million miles away from a triple W, Ivana Nogic. 15.6 assists, five rebounds. Evans, not this time. The defense stands strong. Evans certainly has an MO. Driving down the middle of the lane and going hard and strong inside. Samuelson is fouled by Lazic. And that is three very early fouls in this quarter. Much more aggressive, direct style of basketball here from London now. Potentially a result of some of the fatigue that some of the Besiktas players will be feeling. Lazic will come out of the game. Back into the action comes Kravazovic. Minutes left on the game clock of this first leg. Fag Benle draws the foul from Kravasovic. That puts Besiktas into the penalty now. And that could be problematic. How will this Turkish team react right now? Winterburn glides inside, that's a tough shot, a little shallow, needed a bit more of a teardrop, but the defence stepped through well, Evans. See Samuelson in front of her, slows up, pulls up, short, two is good, Evans, wow. What a first two and a half minutes of the final quarter Dana Evans is having. Inside to Winterburn, she misses the layup. Gustafsson just wrestling the ball back though for London. Samuelson inside, draws the foul, and one, Carly Samuelson. London Lions, a different beast here. From what we saw early in the third quarter, Lee clearing Samuelson out. That is a hell of a play. Lee. Picks up another foul, sending Samuelson to the line. Third personal foul on Lee. Kravasevic has three, as does Byram and Lazic. Could foul trouble be a problem here for Besiktas as well? Still over seven minutes to play. Besiktas lead by nine. Nogic. Into Kravasevic, hands it off to Byram, kicked out, Lee, short corner, is good. Beautiful team offense from Besiktas. Patience, selfless passing. Gustafsson to Samuelson. Samuelson, free throw line jumper is good. Carly Samuelson come to life here in the second half. 
didn't score in the first half. She's now up to 12 points. As London drop back into that 2-3 zone. Shot goes up from deep. Not this time. Fag Benle, ninth rebound of the game for her. Just one point and one rebound away from the double-double. Samuelson uses the screen. Pass inside to Fag Benle. Comes back. Samuelson will pull the three. Had to put it up. Shot clock was expiring. No good, though. Good recovery from Besiktas. They lead by nine. No, get another three. Short. Rebound falls kindly to Schnitzina. Oh, breathless basketball here in Istanbul. Hesitation, drive inside, Samuelson, oh, she does it all on her own. Where was this Carly Samuelson in the first half? Unbelievable turnaround for her. 14 points now. Six from 11 from the field. As coach Akea looks on from the bench. His team led by 18 in the third. Their lead is now just seven. Remember, this is an aggregate two-leg final. These teams are just fighting hard to have the best possible advantage to take into leg two next week. Evans, long rebound. Samuelson can only bat it away. Didn't manage to grab hold of it. Nogic now. Trying to find space, trying to create. Pass inside. Kravasevic will throw up a prayer. Oh, what a shot! Tiana Kravasevic, the 33-year-old, using... Oh, in fact, was it Byram? My mistake. Putting up a hell of a shot. Byram doing a, a, a wonderful job as the shot clock was expiring. Foul called, offensive foul on Gustafsson. The Besiktas crowd are back on their feet. The noise levels have been through the roof all game. Expect them to keep going up here in the final four and a half minutes of this one. Evans now trying to find some space against Fag Benley. She'll draw her away from the basket. Oh, it's tapped away though. Good read by Fag Benley. Samuelson, love pass inside. Winterburn. Drives in, kicks out, Gustafsson for three. Oh, hits another three! London Lions could not buy a bucket from outside in the first half, and they have rained the triples down here. What a big, big shot in a big moment in this game. Timeout has been called here by coach Akea. Four minutes and 11 seconds. Left on the game clock, his team's lead is now down to just six points. What an atmosphere here in Istanbul. It's been raucous from the opening tip. We now have four minutes and 11 seconds left in what has been a fitting first leg to the 2024 Euro Cup Women Final. Both these teams have put in some unbelievable performances this, this season. And to be honest, if either of them are going to be crowned champions, they're going to have to put in another big performance after today's game as well.
Besiktas lead was 18, it's now down to six. London dropped back into a matchup defense. The zone worked for them for a while, but they're changing out of it now. Lazic back to Kravasevic in the hands of Nogic. Nogic now being chased by Samuelson. Lazic dives inside, puts up a tough shot. You have to respect some of the performances these Besiktas players have put in. The likes of Lazic, just 23 years old. Bayram, 22. Turned out in a big way. Lazic called for the foul as she barrels into Samuelson. Now we do have potential foul trouble. Yeah, it's the right call from the officials. Lazic had no intention of anything but to plow through. Fourth personal foul for Lazic. Over three and a half minutes to go. Samuelson at the line. Gets the first to go. Stanford graduate had a quiet first half and has had a blistering second half. Two from two. Back to a six-point ball game here in a sellout arena in one of the greatest basketball cities on the planet, Istanbul. Catch and shoot, three ball, high arcing. Ah, oh, string music from the wing for Lazic. There's the pass, Nogic just skipping it to the reverse side, and Lazic does the duties and scores the bucket. Winterburn very animated, saying she was fouled, drawing contact on her way through. Besiktas lead back to nine, though. No. Is that the end of London's comeback? Have Besiktas battened down the hatches and seen the storm out? Lazic now. No gitch. Oh, a little running jumper. Another air ball, though. As Lee ends up on the floor, boxed out by Gustafsson, holding her elbow. Line ball for London. Two minutes and 52 left, and this feels like a, a one and done game. It isn't. Just a reminder we have leg two next Wednesday at the Copper Box Arena in London. That one tips off 7 p.m. local time. Winterburn. To Samuelson inside to Gustafsson. Great defense by Lee, though. Reads the pass well. Two and a half minutes left in the first leg. Evans tries to draw the contact. Does. What's the call? It's a blocking foul called on Samuelson. Evans is on the floor looking hurt, though. Let's have a look at the replay. Evans back on her feet and heading to the free throw line. Out the line for two, Dana Evans. Big two free throws. Can she get Besiktas' lead back out to double digits? And the first is good. She didn't look that confident when she let go of it. What a final quarter Dana Evans has had as well. 17 points now for her. She struggled to get herself going early in the game. Hits them both this trip. The Schichter's lead back out to 11. As Petty comes back into the game and needs to have the impact here back Benley now against Kravasevic into the hands of Peddy shot clock down to seven Winterburn for three oh it's another three Holly Winterburn just seems to turn up in the biggest moments 21 points now for Winterburn just ice cold does not care what the situation is, what game it is.
could be a pickup game in the park or it could be a European final. She will hit big shot after big shot. Back Benley now. Shot clock down to 10. And Fag Benley loses the ball again. She's turned the ball over a lot this season. Foul's going to be called on Holly Winterburn. The Besiktas bench asking for it to be an unsportsmanlike foul. Let's have a look at the replay. Uh, to reach for the ball, she even gets a hand on the ball. Regular foul. Winterburn picks up her third personal. Carly Samuelson also has three, as does Gustafsson for the Lions. Evans now expect the ball to be in her hand every possession. Oh, what a pass inside. Oh, the finish is not there, though. Byram, probably one of the easiest finishes she's had all game. Winterburn now trying to drive the baseline. Lasic closing it off. Foul's going to be called on Lasic, and that's her out of the game. Foul five on Mihaila Lasic. She'll have to come out. The only change that coach will make, as he's been running a six-player rotation all game, is to see coach, uh, is to see Kravasevic come back in. Lasic not happy. Winterburn at the line, one minute and three seconds to play. First is good for Winterburn. Back within seven. Make that six, and whichever way this game goes now in the final one minute and three, one thing's for sure, we have got a hell of a second leg coming up next Wednesday. Make sure you've got that one in your diaries booked in because that is going to be a real battle in London to see which of these teams will be crowned Euro Cup women champions for the first time in their club's history. Baseline drive, what's the call? Blocking foul on Winterburn. Let's have a look, quick first step by Byram. Yeah, it's the right call. Relatively straightforward one for the officials. London not in the penalty though. So it'll just be a baseline ball for Besiktas. Oh, and that's an easy pass inside. And that's like foul called on Schnitzina. That is a silly, silly play by Schnitzina. Someone of that experience. Why has she pulled on her jersey? That is craziness from Katalina Schnitzina. Unsportsmanlike foul. That will send Kravasevic to the line for two shots. It was a good free throw shooter, and Besiktas will get possession back as well. Kravasevic out the line. These are big, big shots. Veteran player, though. He's played in Hungary, Spain, Slovakia, Turkey, as well as Israel. Hits the first. And the second. That is some real composure on show at the line. But Schichter's back out to an eight-point lead. And they get possession. Schichter's crowd doing what they can to urge their team on. Ideally, they want a double-digit lead to take to London next week. That would give them a bit of a psychological advantage. Evans now. Lee sets the screen. Evans is just going to attack the basket. It's what she's done all game. She'll do it again and get the score. Now Besiktas are out to a 10-point lead. Timeout called by coach Kalsidou. A big 30 seconds of basketball left here as Evans once again just goes strong to the basket. She's only 167 tall, but she plays with such strength and determination. Timeout call by London. Coach Kaltadu wants to make the most of the final seconds of this first leg.
32.2 seconds remaining here in the first leg of the 2024 Euro Cup women final. As I said, one thing's for sure, this one is not going to be decided here today. Coach Kaltadu has decided to advance the ball. She wants as many possessions as possible. They're going to probably go for a two for one, a quick shot, hoping that they will get a possession back. Schnitzina, or will they? Doesn't look like Gunu. Yes, they are. Three ball goes up. Ah, Schnitzina makes amends for the foul at the other end. Hits a huge dagger three. That's taken the air out of the arena. About a three second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. So London could get another possession. Besiktas still lead by seven though. Evans slowing it down. She wants to make it as much as possible the last shot of the game. Again, she just drives to the basket. One footed, won't get the roll. It's off a Besiktas hand. 2.1 seconds remaining. Another timeout called. Seven-point lead for Besiktas. They led by 18 in the third quarter. A real turnaround here by London. That's the final play. Two Besiktas players battling against each other for possession. Coach Kaltadu calls the timeout. She'll advance the ball, so when London return, they'll have the ball in the front court with a little over two seconds to do something with it. Point one seconds remaining on the game clock. As coach Akaya knows that his team now have a big challenge on their hands next week in London. Can London make it even closer though here? They certainly have the shooters on the floor. You've got Winterburn, you've got Samuelson, you've got Schnitzina. Who are they going to go to? It's into Schnitzina, catch and shoot. Three ball is up. It's no good. That's the end of the first leg of this year's Euro Cup women final. And it is perfectly poised for the second leg in London next week. What a game we've had here in Istanbul. It lived up to all of the hype and more. This final is hanging in the balance. Which of these teams will lift their first ever Euro Cup women trophy? Oh, we will have to wait till next week. Final score here in Istanbul, Besiktas 75, London Lions 68.